Hey guys, RoverDude here. Um, gonna give you folks a really quick um, tutorial on how to build VTOLs using the USI Exploration Pack and the brand new ducted fan electric motors. Bear in mind, I am probably the worst VTOL pilot ever to play KSP. Um, also, bear in mind, just for comedy relief, I'll use FAR today. Because, um, yeah, why not? Let's have some more explosions. Okay. So here's a VTOL I prepared earlier. It's a very simple design. I have some structural elements. I have some batteries. And of course, I have lots of these really cool um, ducted fan engines. So these are about the same power and capabilities as the Fire Spitter's folding electric motor. Um, just different form factors, some slight different characteristics, but overall pretty similar. And actually pretty powerful, though, for an um, airframe this small. The biggest difference is these folks operate both as an engine using traditional thrall controls and they also work as a high powered RCS, which is really, really cool. Um, so they actually do fly like a dream. Um, engine wise, the arrow points in the direction of flight, the base points in the direction of thrust. So in this case here, you notice that all my triangles are pointed up, I want to fly up, all the bases are pointed down. One very tricksy thing, very common issue, is folks try to use symmetry. Watch what happens. Let's go ahead and go over to. Go. Okay. Note that the triangles are now in opposite directions. Your stuff will like flip over instantly. Uh, don't do that. Uh, the reason why it's like this, uh, just how I had to build the model in order for it to properly handle the fire spitter, propellers doing counter rotation, spinning stuff. I fought with it for like a day. Said, eh, we'll deal with it. Um, I will try to fix this in a later patch, but for now, please add them one at a time. Please, obviously, as you add them, rotate them accordingly. So we would just you know, add one, and then just flip it around, and voila. Okay, that's it. All right, so again, we have mad pod, engine, batteries, you know, our motors, landing gear, all that kind of good stuff. They also operate as an RCS system, which is pretty cool. In the case of RCS, it does thrust from both directions, just like a twin nozzle RCS thruster, basically, which is pretty cool. So with this configuration, because I have you know two up front, two in the back, I can pretty easily do my um, pitch and my roll, no problem. And these guys here in the back handle y'all. I could have just used one. Actually, having them both in front and back would have been more efficient. Uh, it looks a little weird though, so I did the whole you know, dual tail rotor thing. That works out pretty good. Um, I have them kind of spread apart because if I have really long um, arms and leverage with RCS, it's actually more efficient and more responsive. But the big thing here is if you are using these tail rotors for RCS only and not as engine thrusters, in this case horrible things would happen, note that I have the uh, thrust set down to zero. Very, very important. So anything you're using for yaw controls only, please set thrust to zero. For the rest of the stuff, it's all about balancing. Again, this is a VTOL. No big surprises there. It works as standard VTOLs work. So let's go ahead and look at our um, center of mass, uh, center of thrust, and it looks like I'm way out of whack. If I were to launch this guy right now, it would actually flip over backwards and crash because I have so much more thrust in the front than the back. To adjust this, I need, either need to increase the rear thrust or decrease the front thrust. These guys are now set at 28 um, as my thrust limiter because these are pretty powerful motors. So I'm actually going to lower the thrust in the front. I want to lower it to a point where this guy here is just behind the center of mass. Let's go ahead and give it a shot here. And if it messes up, just try again, tweak it. What you want to have is this guy to literally lift up exactly vertically without tilting forward or tilting back. A slight forward tilt is kind of okay, but I prefer to have it basically perfectly balanced. So this I'm feeling pretty good about. Again, engines are balanced. Zero, 28, 28, 13, 13. And let's go ahead and um, let's launch this. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a roll. It's like Bill's test pilot today. So that's what we want to do with this is make sure your throttle is set to zero. RCS, SAS is on very slowly bring it up, very slowly, and you should see it 
um, lift off. Now I am using FAR, so the big thing with FAR is to not do any horrible sudden movements or you absolutely will crash. basically yeah right so um, other than the whole landing bit uh, pretty easy as usual uh, unlike me in the example uh, do your best fly safe and uh, good luck <laughs>